guys are going to everybody. I am back. Today is Saturday, April 14th. I'm on Lower Otai. Fishing a nationwide online tournament for three days. So it started yesterday. I took my daughters to the movies and uh, had some other stuff to take care of so I couldn't fish yesterday. Today and tomorrow are the last two days of the tournament. I decided to film a little bit later in the day uh, for the 30 minute unedited. That's what I'm about to do for you guys again. So I've already caught I think seven fish. Uh, but no size at all, all small ones. I think my biggest has been like 13 inches. Um, the small ones are active today, they are chasing. Caught uh, a couple drop shot fish. I do occasionally drop shot, especially uh, when I fish tournaments. But uh, these nationwide tournaments, give you a chance to uh, qualify for the KBF National Championship. So there is a um, hundred and, or correction, there is eighty nine people in this tournament. So I need to place 18th or better to qualify for the National Championship next year, 2019. Uh, it's going to be tough. I've I've competed in some nationwide tournaments before and I've always got my butt kicked. Places like Florida and Texas usually do better. The NorCal guys do pretty good. Um, for those of you that are watching that aren't from Southern California, you're probably wondering why Southern California isn't um, one of those groups that does very good or one of those regions. Southern California, San Diego, um, is, not, is probably the hardest bass fishing I have ever done. Uh, it's very pressured. I mean, right now I can see just what's in front of me. One, two, three, four, five. And our reservoirs aren't very big and we have a ton of bass fishermen in Southern California so it's tough um, you definitely earn your fish here that's for sure you get five fish in a day especially out of a kayak you've had a pretty good day so right now I have three that I've even bothered measuring which I have to pretty much pull all three of those fish to have a chance at the top 18. Right now there's already a guy with like 95 inches, 97 inches in first place. Uh, he had that yesterday, Friday. So I mean, you've got guys that nationwide, I mean you got guys that can literally just go out and bed fish five fish, you know, five big bed females. So it's tough, but uh, any chance I can get to qualify for the national championship, I'm going to go for it. Oh, and my Lorenz just died. So, told myself yesterday, hey, you should charge it. And then I said, no, nah, it should be fine. Don't worry about it. That's what I get. Charge your electronics, people. Don't be like me. Yeah, getting back to same or getting back to this tournament. Uh, that guy with in first with 95 inches in a day. That's that's like the best I've ever done in my life. Um, the trail tournament that I won last year at Havasu in Arizona. That's the that's the best day of, of kayak fishing lengthwise I've ever had. 
uh, and that was I think 95 something. So and there's there's some honey holes out there. Some guys, you know, Georgia does pretty well. Alabama, Tennessee. There's some some lakes over there where those guys get into places where boats can't. Florida especially, and they just you know slay big fish. Big unpressured fish. San Diego, we definitely have big fish. I mean, we've got the biggest fish in the country, I guarantee it. Um, but we've got a billion guys chasing them all day long. They have seen everything known to man thrown in at them. So when I first got to Southern California, I imagined it being a lot different, as I'm sure people that aren't from here would imagine as well. You know, they see guys like Mike Long and Dottie and all these people that are the best of the best here. Well, there's, you know, 3,000 people that are trying to be like Mike Long every single day on these waters. It's tough. You, you've got to be, you know, to catch those double digits constantly, you really got to know what you're doing. You've got it dialed in. Uh, you know, they've, a lot of those guys have fished here for a long time. They grew up here, so. And again, in the kayak world, you're not after weight. Uh, you're after length, so. You know, you can catch a big 25-inch, 9-pound fish, uh, and then the rest of the day get skunk, and I can catch three 12-inch fish and beat you by 9 inches in the kayak, in the kayak tournament. So, you know, my, my personal best um, was a 7.27 uh, out of Lake Murray, which is nothing that I'm proud of. I, with how much I fish here in San Diego, I'm bound to run into a double digit one of these days. But that fish was only 22 and a half inches. I mean, I've caught, uh, I caught a six pounder that was almost 22 and a half inches and it barely made six. Might have just lost a fish, real small one. <sighs> Um, so yeah, doing the 30 minutes, unedited again, hope I could pick some up for you guys. The boats, uh, in the direction that I'm going towards have been leaving, so never really a good sign, and my Lorenz is down. So I don't, uh, I'll be fishing blind, which I fished blind my first years and most of this most of this area I know already the only thing I'd be missing out on is schools chasing shad which is important here because if I can find the shad I can find the bass but do what I used to do and if you don't have a fish finder you pay a lot of attention to boats because you know they got fish finders they know what they're doing they start stacking up on a certain area uh, you know, I'm not gonna go in and start casting right in their spot but those shad move a lot they're constantly moving and boats are constantly chasing so if you see all those boats in that area you at least know that there's probably shad in that area. Right now these bass are, are feeding pretty heavy on them. I'm throwing the uh, crevice critter, A10A1, scrimmage baits. It's what I always throw. It's my search bait, my confidence bait. My favorite bait to throw out here. Thank you. 
probably going to slow down for me just a tad bit. Pretty soon. I'll be working for the next one. Still, I get weekends off. I'll be out here on the weekends. We got a jaw surgery coming up. Probably why you guys, uh, you know, wonder why I'm 29 with braces. You gotta have my jaws broken and reset, both of them. So I will be wired shut for six weeks on an all liquid diet, which I'm not looking forward to. And, uh, you guys don't have to listen to me talk, but I'll still be showing my ugly mug, still recording videos. Hopefully I won't have headgear. That's coming soon. I don't exactly know when. I'm waiting to, uh, it's been a long process. Uh, working on getting this done for two years now and uh, it's finally getting to the point to where they're ready but uh, I know they just had a little bit of a setback so I got to go in here uh, next week figure out what that setback is no fish Figure out what that setback is. Um, I was told that it could be any day that I'm having the surgery, and then I got called, and they basically said that I got to come in again and, and talk about some more stuff. So right now I'm at the point I just want to get it over with. It's going to suck real bad. Um, they're going to remove my top jaw from my skull completely, cut it into three pieces, and. Uh, reset it. I've got an underbite and none of my teeth actually touch um, when I bite out. So. <clears throat> Apparently I've been missing out on uh, eating like a normal human being for my whole life. So that'll be coming. I'll probably lose some weight basically going to be living off milkshakes, protein shakes, and weight gainers. But uh, it ain't going to stop me from fishing, that's for sure. I'll still be doing that. really like to catch some you know, 17, 18, 19 inch fish for this tournament. If you can get, if you can get yourself into the 90s inches wise in these next two days, if I can do that, I'd probably qualify. You gotta be the top 10%, like I said, so 18th place gets a, gets a spot. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, there's, I'll never beat these guys um, that, I mean, the dude that got 95 in, in day one, he'll probably have over 100 inches. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll have over 100 inches. Unless that was his one day he could fish. But then, if that's his one day he could fish, the guy in second, um, he'll get 100 inches. So, definitely don't expect to win. I'm, I'm just shooting for 18th place. And, uh, today is the day that a lot of movement will be happening in this tournament. Saturday is the, the day that everybody's going to get out and fish. I can't stay very long today, but I can, I'm going to probably uh, fish pretty much uh, all day tomorrow, depending on uh, depending on what's going on at home and uh, you know where I'm at in the standings, but. Regardless, I don't even really like to look at standings. 
you look at standings, you either do two things. You panic, and then uh, if, you're, if you're in a good position, you get complacent. You get a little bit of com comfort, and uh, you know, you don't feel like you should fish as long. Maybe, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm in, you know, 14th place, and then you leave at 3 o'clock, and somebody that's just outside, if they're like me, and, you know, you're in 20th place, you'll fish till the very last second. Another reason why it's tough for us uh, here in Southern California to compete in these nationwide ones, nationwide tournaments, is uh, it's 24-7. Uh, well, it's not 24-7. It is 72 hours. You can fish all 72 hours. Well, in San Diego, we cannot night fish. Our lakes close right when the sun goes down. So, I mean, that's a huge... If you could fish these lakes at nighttime, man, it would be awesome. So not only... Do we have really pressured lakes, but we can't fish nighttime? And the guys I'm competing against, a lot of the guys in the top five, I've already seen uh, pictures of nighttime bats. So we are definitely at a disadvantage for the nationwide tournaments. We're honestly at a disadvantage for the uh, statewide tournaments because all the Northern California guys. Uh, they can fish 24-7. You know, the amount of hours that they could put on the water compared to us is, you know, depending on how hardcore they are, double. They can get double the, the time on, on the water than we can. And I'll tell you what, if I lived up there, I would night fish all the time. Hang out with the family during the day, and then night fish all night long. You know, go to work in the daytime, and night fish. Leave from the lake, go to work. It would be perfect if you were allowed to do that. There we go. Oh, come on, be a good one. Oh, he came off. Wow. Oh, he didn't come off. Oh, he feels like a good one. He feels like a good one. I don't know what just happened. Oh, he's a, he's a, yeah, he's a really good one. Guys, I have no idea what happened there. He must have pulled a U-turn and swam right back at me. Because I felt completely slapped. But this is a good fish. This is probably 18 at least. Man, that was crazy. I was going to say, I, I hardly ever lose fish on crank. Especially this A10 with these KVD triple grips. Shoot. Dang things went through my leg. Oh yeah, this is a good fish, guys. This is a good fish. That's what I like to see.
you people not familiar with how we how we score our fish and kayak fishing in these tournaments. We're about to see how we do it. We uh, like I said, we go by length. I'll get my board out right now. That's the board at the backdrop. We've got an identifier, which is this thing right here. It's gonna slide up and down my board. That's so they know that it's me and that I'm fishing the correct tournament. And uh, they issue the identifiers the night before the tournament. Or right at right at midnight. That's good. Oh yeah, that's good. The mouth's got to be closed. The fish has got to be facing to the left. This is the part where it gets scary. Because these fish, they don't like to cooperate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just need to get a picture of you. Oh. Yeah, this one. This is not going to be fun, guys. This one does not want to relax. Come on, don't embarrass me in front of my friends. All right, it's like 19.25. That's a good fish, guys. That's what we need. And of course, she doesn't want to put her tail down. Put your tail down. I take a, a lot of photos, guys. Um. All right, that'll do. Got some good photos. 19.25, which means she's right around four. Let her go. Actually, let her go on this side. small ones all day until so that that's you get five of those and you've got a real good shot at making the top 18 all right 19.25 that's a solid fish yeah man that fish had to have just pulled you know, basically a 180. But she had that that crevice critter. Um, she had all three. Oh, we got busting fish in the middle over there. So right now I'm going on the uh, the website, and I am submitting the picture. Browse photos, submit the picture, submit to leaderboard, it'll tell you that it has been submitted, and then the judges will email you back letting you know, huh, I got a boat headed right, he saw those busted fish too, he went right towards them. Uh, they let you know if your picture was, if, if the fish counts. Uh, like I said, there's rules to the pictures. Um, have the fish facing left, the mouth must be completely closed. The, no uh, eye has to be showing, so nobody can just pick up a dead fish. And
nobody could pick up a dead fish and uh, throw it on the board. So the eyes got to be showing. Um, you can't have your hand under the gill plate is another one. Um, you can have it over, but you can't have it under the gill plate. Uh, your tournament ID tag cannot be touching the fish. So there's rules. That's why I take a bunch of different pictures. Um, another fish. Oh, it's a good one too. Back to back cast, good fish. This one isn't nearly as, as big, but barely got that hook in her bottom lip. I know how they feel. I haven't gotten any in my face yet, but definitely taking one in the leg. So that one will probably be around 17. These are the type of fish you need though, right here. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So now I'm back on the uh, back on the app, submitting the picture once again. Submit catch. Submit the leaderboard. So I was being a little bit quiet because I had a uh, a boat, as you guys can see probably now behind me. That he saw me catch those past two fish and. Uh, he all of a sudden just started making his way over here. So it was like, it would be quiet a little bit. And, uh, you know, maybe they'll just be a good dude and not come over here and try to get in on my fish. Which is frustrating. Um, because, you know, he's in a boat. You've got the whole lake, you can go all over the lake very quickly, especially this lake. You can, be, you can cover this whole lake. Um, Cricket Chad, guys, you guys should know that already. 810A1 Krebs Critter. Oh, um, so, yeah, you know, boat guys will see you catching, catching fish and then they just they magically start to appear and uh, obviously it gets a little annoying so let's see if I got some kind of school right here three casts in a row would be nice so yeah that was 19, 2, 5 and uh, 17 it's exactly the type of fish I need I can get three more of those. Um, three more of that caliber, I got a real good shot at being in the top 18. <sighs> the uh, wind was real strong this morning. died down it had to switch directions and it's probably going to come up real bad again later today um, well guys that is i think i'm past the 30 minute mark right around 32 you guys got to see me catch two good fish um, you guys always see me promoting the skirmish baits um, i mean proof is in the videos they work catch fish. Uh, paint jobs are the best in the business. The company is definitely up and coming. It's better and owned. And uh, just go check them out. You know, the least you can do is go on the website skirmishbaits.com. Check them out. Ask me questions in the comments about the baits. I, I mean, I throw every bait that they make. Throw them a lot. The A10 and the M9, the square bill are my favorite. Go through my videos if you want to know a little bit more about them, or because uh, I've done videos about them in the past, or just ask me in the comments below. Uh, I will have the highlight video up. if you haven't subscribed already and uh, I will keep these videos rolling for you guys and we'll just keep on keeping on on the quest for the 2019 KBF National Championship that's the goal again appreciate you guys tuning in and I am out